welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. In the last lectures, we have discussed about uh, numerical differentiation and today we will uh, start about numerical integration. So, in the numerical integration, we will just uh, deal different kinds of interpolation formulas and uh, how we can just integrate uh, this uh, polynomial or this function with uh, using this uh, interpolation formulas. So, specifically the advantage of uh, this numerical integration is that if we will have this uh, specific uh, nodal points with its tabular values, then at that point if the function is uh, not known to us explicitly, we can use this numerical integrations to evaluate uh, this functional values at all of these points or whatever wherever these uh, points are asked to evaluate. So, first we will just go for this uh, introduction that uh, where we are just uh, observing this difficulties of the solving problems in any integration and why we are just going for this uh, numerical integration. Then we will just go for this uh, methodology for numerical integrations and uh, obviously, for, for this lecture we will just go up to the rectangular rule that how we can just use this rectangular rule to evaluate this integration. So, specifically if you will just go for the history of integration, you can just find that uh, Archimedes has uh, developed uh, this uh, integration to find the surface areas and volumes of solids and uh, this uh, integration method was very modern nowadays. And since earlier it was just developed to calculate this area or volume or solids, volume of solid solids in sphere or in cones. Gauss was first introduced uh, to make the integrals in a graphical sense. This means that uh, graph for integrals he has developed and Leibniz and uh, Newton discover the calculus and found this uh, differentiation and integration which are converts to each other. So, integration was uh, used to design or uh, it can be applicable to many fields of science and engineering if you will just see. And uh, here I am just showing some of this uh, uh, modern infrastructures where this integration was used like a Petronas tower and uh, Sydney Opera House or finding the scores under the center of mass, displacement, velocity and fluid flows. Specifically without integration and derivative we cannot solve such type of problems. So, if you will just go for uh, this integration, if uh, somebody is asked what is integration. So, then especially we are just putting a chord sign and which is just uh, giving a parametric region where we want to evaluate this integration or calculate these areas or surfaces or volume bounded within that surface. And if we are just defining this integrals, so integrals are of uh, two types. First it is called definite integral where this uh, end points should be finite and we can just easily position these points. And the next is that indefinite integral if some ranges are infinite then especially it is called a indefinite integral where it is uh, difficult to evaluate the functional values within that range. So, in such of cases, so if you will just uh, go for like uh, fine definite integral or finite range integrals. So, especially we are just defining a range there, y has a range like y equals to like 0 to 0 to some range suppose and x has a range like x equals to 0 to uh, suppose a or x equals to a to b and within that point how this y curve is approximating or how this variation of y is occurring that we try to estimate with the axis bounding region with this curve there. This means that if y equals to f of x is a function is defined and how this area is occurring or how this aerial interaction or this enclosure is occurring within this x axis for two fixed points that can be evaluated by using integrations. So, why we are just going for this uh, numerical integration? <coughs> if the function f of x is not given as I have told you, but the values are given at a district points, then we can just use numerical integration to find this values of the function within a given range. Sometimes if some of this complicated functions if it is given like e to the power minus x square suppose within the, the range of like 0 to 1 dx. So, it is very difficult to carry out 
and in that case if you just go for numerical integrations it is very easy to evaluate the integrations. Let us suppose that the functional values are known at x equals to a and x equals to b and suppose a and b is divided into n equals this means that n minus 1 internal points in a b. Suppose these internal points we are just naming as x 1, x 2 up to x n minus 1. So, if you will just uh, visualize this one in a graphical sense here, suppose we will have this uh, points like x equals to x 0 to x equals to x n suppose. Then we can just uh, divide this uh, range x equals to x 0 to x equals to x 1 into suppose n sub intervals. So, we will have now this n minus 1 internal points like x 1 to x 2 x 3 of 2 x n minus 1. Obviously, we can just write or sometimes for convenience we are just expressing x naught equals to a and x n equals to b. Then we can just define this uh, points are as a equals to x 0 less than x 1 less than x 2 less than of 2 less than x n minus 1 less than x n this equals to p. So, if we are just approximating any function with a polynomial approximation within this range suppose x 0 to x n here then we can just obtain a polynomial within that range. So, in that range we will have n plus 1 nodal points with n sub intervals like x i x i plus 1 if i is varying from 1 to n minus 1 here. So, if we will just uh, approximate this function with a polynomial or we want to fit the polynomial p of x over suppose k sub intervals here passing through the points like x i y i here i equals to 0 1 2 up to k and evaluate this integral. So, then we can just write i 1 as x 0 to x k f of x d x or we can just write this one as x 0 to x k p of x d x here. Obviously, if we, it covers or obviously, it covers k intervals like x i to x i plus 1 for i equals to 0 1 to k here and uh, this process is repeated for uh, all the intervals this means that first if it covers k intervals then in the repeated process in the next interval also it can covers like k intervals again until over the entire domain should be covered off. Then we will just go for the discussion of uh, this numerical integration in a different uh, interpolation formulas first we will just go for this uh, Lagrangian formula here. So, if you will just uh, write this Lagrangian formula, this Lagrangian formula for this polynomial approximation is usually written in the form of a summation of uh, like i equals to 0 to n l i x f of x i, where l i x is called uh, Lagrangian polynomial coefficients and usually this l i x is expressed in the form like omega of x divided by x minus x i into omega dash of x i there. Specifically, if we will just write in elaborated form, then we can just write l i x as x minus x 0, x minus x 1 to x minus x i minus 1, x minus x i plus 1 up to x minus x n divided by x i minus x 0, x i minus x 1 up to x i minus x i minus 1, x i minus x i plus 1 up to x i minus x n here. If you just write this integration here, this integration can be written as integration of x 0 to x 1 f of x d x suppose this can be written as 
or if we want to write this one as x0 to xk suppose in each of these intervals if you will just evaluate x0 to xk f of x into dx this can be written as x0 to xk summation of i equals to 0 to n li x f of xi into dx here or it can be written in the form of summation of i equals to 0 to n f of x i integration of x 0 to x k l i x d x here. Already it is known that l i x can be expressed as the coefficients of x here which can be written in the form of either in the form of omega x by x minus x i into omega dash of uh, x i there. So, if we will just uh, implement the numerical integration for all these product terms there, then we can just uh, evaluate this numerical integration for this polynomial there. So, next we will just uh, go for this uh, numerical integration using Newton's forward difference formula. When the values of the function y equals to f of x are provided suppose at equally spaced abscissas, then we can just use this Newton's forward difference formula. And in finite difference approximations, usually this Newton's forward difference formula in polynomial form are written as y0 plus p delta of y0 p into p minus 1 by factorial 2 del square of y0 plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2 divided by 3 factorial delta q of y0 plus of two finite number of terms that is as p into p minus 1 p minus 2 of two p minus n minus 1 divided by n factorial nabla to the sorry delta to the power n of y0 here plus the remainder term. So, if you just replace in terms of x here, usually we are just replacing here x equals to x0 plus p h here. So, that is why p can be written as x minus x0 by h here. And if you just replace this say p values in terms of x here, then p of x can be written as y0 plus x minus x0 by h into delta of y0 then x minus x0 into x minus x1 by 2 factorial h square del square of y0 plus all other terms in the same fashion. So, if we will just write this polynomial in terms of p, usually we can just denote that one in terms of a p here that is p of p can be written as y0 plus p delta of y0 p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square of y0 of 2 p into p minus 1 up to p minus k plus 1 by k factorial del to the power k of y 0 there. So, if we will just use this integration for this formula here, then we can just write integration of x 0 to x k p of x dx here or it can be written as x 0 to x k f of x dx this equals to we can just write h into integration of uh, like uh, 0 to since uh, x 0 to x k here 0 to k we can just write and p of p into d p here. Since if you will just see here d x is uh, nothing but h d p if you will just write this one. So, that is why this h is coming out and at this point x equals to x 0 if I will just put p equals to 0 and if I will just put uh, x equals to like x k that is nothing but x 0 plus k h. So, that is why p equals to k there. So, that is why we are just uh, changing this interval that is in this form here. So, in this regard also we can just write this uh, error terms also. So, usually this uh, error terms are usually written in the form like a uh, x minus x0. So, for this Newton's divided difference formula, if you will just write this error term that can be written as. So, this error term for uh, this Newton's interpolation formula r of x can be written as p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 up to p minus 
k if you will just write up to kth term here. So, we can just write in this form or divided by you can just write k factorial here and uh, del to the power sorry this is a k plus 1 factorial here and del to the power k plus 1 y 0 here. And in terms of x if you will just write this can be written in the form of like uh, x minus x 0, x minus x 1 of 2 x minus x k divided by k plus 1 factorial and uh, it can be written also h term it is also there. So, that is why we can just write this one as uh, f to the power k plus 1 zeta divided by k plus 1 factorial here. So, if you will just integrate this one within this range of x 0 to x k here. So, this can be written as x 0 to x k r of x dx this can be written as x 0 to x k here like x minus x 0 to x minus x k here divided by k plus 1 factorial f to the power k plus 1 zeta here where zeta should be lies between x 0 to x k here. So, if we will just take out this term like f to the power k plus 1 zeta by k plus 1 factorial as that are constant. So, it can be taken out. So, inside this uh, uh, integrations we can just write x 0 to x k x minus x 0 x minus x 1 to x minus x k into d x here. So, if we will just uh, eliminate uh, d x as in the form of h d p here. So, then x minus x 0 and x minus x 1 in terms of a p here. So, we can just write that the total term can be written as h to the power k plus 2 this can be written as h to the power k plus 2 divided by k plus 1 factorial f to the power k plus 1 zeta integration from 0 to k p into p minus 1 p minus 2 up to p minus k plus 1 here into d p. Sorry, this should be p minus k up to that one since x minus f k is there. So, this is the integration formula. So, if you will just go for this uh, like uh, total error in computing the integral i equals to x 0 to x k f of x into d x, then sum of the module of errors that is the number of times it is just occurring in each of the intervals that can be taken off and uh, sum of all these uh, terms to cover off uh, this error terms in each of these intervals x 0 to x n. So, now we shall discuss some of the methods that are based on equally spaced abscissas. Suppose that the interval a b is a subdivided suppose n sub intervals here each of which suppose h here then we can just define h equals to b minus a by n here. So, suppose in a graphical sense if you will just visualize we can just define x 0 to x n up to x n equals to b here. So, then we can just define if all these points are equally spaced here, then we can just define h equals to b minus a by n or we can just write x n minus x 0 by n here. And each of these uh, points since it is equispaced here, we can just write x i equals to x i minus 1 plus h here, where i is varying from like uh, 1 to n here incremented by 1. So, and we can just uh, define this points so that is in the form of like a equals to x 0 less than x 1 up to less than x n equals to b here. And uh, 
if you will just go for the say rectangular rule suppose, in the rectangular rule form usually this method is applicable whenever we have a constant value of function which attains its maximum value within that range. This means that if suppose we will have a integration range from x0 to x1, then we can just assume that y0 or this functional values at x0 can be considered as a constant value for f of x within the whole interval there. And in the second interval, the same fashion we can just approximate that one y1 is f of x1 throughout the interval. And in that case, we can just write this integration as in the form of like a aerial cross section and within that if you just uh, divide each of these intervals in a rectangular sections like if suppose we will have this uh, integration range y equals to f of x is uh, uh, given to us and it is asked to evaluate this integration within this range a to b suppose. We can just uh, subdivide this total regions into n sub intervals here and if you will just uh, take this small section as a straight line or this perpendiculars we can just uh, draw off at each of these points here. Since sufficient close intervals we are just considering, so that is why the error of approximation should be minimized in this sense here. If you will just consider the starting point is x0, next point is x1 and next point is x2, likewise the last point is xn here and corresponding y values are like y0, y1, y2, likewise the last point will be yn here. Then we can just uh, consider this integration within this range like x0 to x1, y of x dx or f of x dx which can take the maximum value y0 within this range x0 to x1 here, then we can just write this integration as y0 into x1 minus x0 here and this can be written as hy0 here. So, similarly we can just uh, define this integration range like a x1 to x2, x2 to x3 in the same fashion and adding of if you just add of all these areas like x0 to xn suppose y of x dx or f of x dx, this can be written in the form of like x0 to x1, x1 to x2 up to xn minus 1 to xn f of x dx here. Then each of these intervals we can just first interval we can just obtain h of y0, second one we can just obtain h of y1 and the third one we can just uh, obtain that one h of y2. So, likewise if you will just sum up all these uh, terms here, then the final integration we can just get it as h into y0, y1 up to y n minus 1 here. And if the function is suppose monotonically increasing, then we can just write integration a to b f of x dx is greater than h of y0 plus y1 to yn minus 1. If suppose it is monotonically decreasing, then we can just define as integration a to b f of x dx is less than h into y0 plus y1 to yn minus 1 here. So, then we will just go for uh, like a rectangular rule used for Lagrange's formula. So, in the Lagrange's formula, suppose if the interval is given like x0 to x1 and it is asked to fit with a polynomial passing through the points like x0, y0 and x1, y0 suppose since the functional values are same at both these points. So, then we can just define this polynomial as we will have these points like uh, x0, y0 and uh, x1, y0 here. This functional values remain constant at both these points. Then we can just define this uh, Lagrange polynomial as x minus x1 divided by x0 minus x1 y0 plus x minus x0 divided by x1 minus x0 y0 here. So, then this total polynomial can be written as y0 here. 
and if you will just approximate this error for this uh, polynomial, then this error terms R of x can be written in the form of like x minus x0, f dash of uh, zeta, where zeta should be lies between x0 to x1 here. And if you will just integrate this uh, linear interpolating polynomial for Lagrange's method, then we can just write this one as x0 to x1 p of x dx, this can be written as y0 into x1 minus x0 that is nothing but h of y0 here. And this formula is the rectangular rule especially it is called. And if you just approximate the error terms also, this error term can also be written as e equals to x0 to x1 r of x into dx here. And that can be written as x0 to x0 plus h x minus x0 f dash of zeta into dx here, which can be written as h square by 2 f dash of zeta, where zeta should be lies between x0 to x1. And in the same form, we can just obtain this composite formula for this linear interpolating polynomial in Lagrange's method as a to b f of x dx that is x0 to xn f of x dx this equals to h into y0 plus y1 plus y2 up to yn minus 1 here. So, based on uh, Newton's forward formula if you will just go for this calculation here like if you will have uh, this uh, function f of x in x0 to x1 by terms of Newton's forward interpolating polynomial here usually we can just write x0 to x1 f of x dx here or that can be written in the form of x0 to x1 p of v into dx here. And obviously, this integration range for this p of v can be transformed to 0 to 1 and dx can be written as h dp here. So, that is why we can just write this one as h 0 to 1 into your functional value y 0 into dp here and this especially can be written as h y 0. And in the similar fashion also we can just uh, determine the error for this uh, formula that can be written as e equals to h 0 to 1 p delta of y 0 into dp. So, which can be written as h square by 2 f dash of zeta. Since we have known that del y 0 by h this equals to f dash zeta. So, in both these methods we are obtaining the same formula for rectangular rule. Thank you for uh, listening this uh, lecture on uh, numerical integration. Next lecture we can just continue for this uh, numerical integration based on Newton's forward difference formula and uh, all other uh, uh, interpolation formulas.